I find it difficult to believe this damage is inevitable. There must be some way to defend against it. Otherwise, this game is stupid. I want to take over that ship. I want to lead the invasion force. Those pesky electrons keep hitting us, but they never hit other electrons, do they? Why is that so? Well, with real electrons, it is because they all carry negative charge. And as we all know, negative charges repel each other. To get our questions started, here's my ad hoc theory. If we find a way to either ionize our hull with negative charge, or polarize our shields with negative charge, we should be fairly safe. I guess. So what is the priority of us scientists now? I see four options. A. Asking questions of the computer to solve the electron problem. Probably needs the science bay. B. Scrambling data. Needs the science bay. Probably more effective once we are closer to the core of the atom. C. Heal the crew. Does not need the science bay. And D. ECM the missiles. Needs the science bay. I say the doctor, and that's me by the way, does his thing, or rather my thing, patching up the crew, while Lieutenant Corpulent Runt here asks the questions about electrons. We deal with the scrambling once we get closer. Hopefully, after successfully dealing with the electrons, the missiles have to be handled by someone else. Cool for you? Hey, my 8th grade science teacher told us that when a positron hits an electron, they annihilate one another. Can we do something to annihilate those damned electrons or what? Ahem. <clears throat> Sounds like a plan. So I believe we have our marching orders. Uh, we're going to have one group, now led by the commander of the ship, uh, try to intrude upon the bot ship in order to capture it. That's a, that's a fairly stout move, I think. Um, one of the benefits of capturing a ship is you get more money. And so um, Little Red, or Commander Red, he's thinking about... Um, about the future. Um, and I, I think Dr. Zush's plan also might be pretty solid, uh, splitting the scientific forces and, and waiting to do further, further scrambling actions. Um, that, that, I'm starting to get dizzy. All right, and so far the plan is going off fairly well. Um, Corpulent Run's gotten one question, and not very hard. Difficulty is zero uh, if you're going to ask questions about the ship or about things that are nearby. And since the electrons are zooming past, I, I think they're probably... I'm, I'm thinking of it as a range of zero. A um, little bit of damage control done by uh, Junior Lieutenant Tic Tac uh, and Ensign Chapach. I think he's an ensign. I'll have to double check on that. I'm pretty sure he's an ensign. He did his doubling move. So here's another Chapak here. It, he's right there. Um, that didn't take an action from him. It will on phase six. Um, now this double, this this Chapak from the future already did his action, uh, which takes place in phase six here. And that action was to travel back in time. So by going by by doing this, Chapak saying that he is going to be on this spot. Um, at phase six, this Chipak will have to. Uh, so what did he do over here? Since he got to do an action and whatnot, he fixed life support, then went over here and got fixed up himself by Dr. Zush. Um, Commander Red is heading over to the missile bay. He plans to launch himself and some others onto the um, bot ship. Uh, Merker, he launched another missile, so it should be pretty softened up if these missiles hit before they get there. Hopefully they'll hit before they get there. They don't want it to hit afterwards. Uh, Lieutenant Capazoid, she missed with the cannon. It was pretty much, uh, she could have lucked it and hit, but it wasn't a very strong shot, as you can see. Uh, gun energy is very low right now. Um, no engineers did any engine pumping or anything like that. Cowbot, he bumped up the speed to, uh, so the, the ship's going fairly fast now. It's speed eight. It's harder to move a, a, a large ship quickly. And the bots are doing some powering up. Um, I forgot to change this. Turn two, round two, phase one. Bots are powering up. They're getting their guns charged up, ready for some, some blastage. Um... I don't think they're going to shoot right now, though. Uh, the 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 human, the Publucklin Ren, is going fairly quickly, and um, the distance is such that they'd have to hit like a 17 or so, which is a, a difficult to hit shot. Um, unfortunately, there is something that's going to hit, and that's this load of dice here. Another um, electron is striking the ship. Hopefully, those yes or no questions we're getting. 
will help keep this from happening in the future. Um, but I'll probably play another round before I um, put this video up and let people um, try to do more deductive work. On the ground, it was a two. Okay, so we our shields are still pretty high. They're at seven, so we can take away um, seven of these. And that's good because there's a lot of sixes here, aren't there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means there's going to be two, or no, there's going to be three damaged modules from this. That's not good. All right. And then some, some more damage. All right, let's see where it hits. First, we'll see. Four, so it's going to hit from this side. Hope it doesn't hit the sick bay. There are four people in the sick bay right now. That would not be good. All right, and let's see. And that's the most likely line, actually. That's the seven line. I think. I'll have to check the, the table. Eleven. All right, so that was pretty lucky. Turns out uh, if it misses the silhouette, well, I already knew this, but if it misses the silhouette, it just does a little bit of hull damage, in this case, eight points of hull damage, which is still not enough for a hull check. Uh, Junior Lieutenant Tic Tech has been keeping the um, hull damage fairly low by using the damage control again and again and again. That reminds me, I forgot to put a used marker there. Um, and so that's been keeping it low. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, I, I just wanted to really check to see if it if it could miss the silhouette like normal um, because there are special rules involved. And it turns out, yes, it can. And so, great, great, because that would have been a very nasty hit. Uh, so it is a good thing that um, a boarding missile hasn't been launched yet. The bots have just lost their life support due to a shot by Lieutenant Capazoid, assisted by... Um, junior Lieutenant Merker shot right through their life support. They um, they're gonna have to roll at the end of every round to see if they're still um, still alive. Bots have a different sort of damage roll than um, than characters do. Uh, what else happened? Zush finished healing up Snugbug. Snugbug took his uh, seat at the helm again as Little Red is heading up there. They might not try to. Uh, might not be wise to shoot a, a, a boarding missile because if you if you board the the ship, you're going to have to fix the um, life support if you're if you're going to stay on it for for any length of time. I got some good engine pumping done. Uh, got the the guns back up, but then use some of that energy to to poke a hole in the ship. Shields are still high. Um, bots turn. Uh, at the end of phase two, the bots have. Not done much other than uh, transfer even more power to their guns. They really want to take a big shot at the ship when they can. Uh, they're still kind of too far to get a good shot. Unfortunately, uh, once again, those um, electrons are able to get a nice shot on the ship. Apologize for this. Maybe we'll be lucky again. All right, a whole bunch of dice. Um, and again, we get a takeaway. Okay, I can probably stop telling you this. We get a takeaway seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Let's make sure we're getting the highest ones out. Five sixes and two fives we get rid of. Okay, that's good. So we're going to still have some damaged modules there. Let's take a look at which direction the hits come in. Four, so that's from this side again. And we'll use these two dice to see on the silhouette they hit, that's a nine. So if this is seven, eight, nine, so that's gonna hit the missile bay, which is where the commander is, oh no. Um, luckily most of these are, you know, it's just hitting right through here. So most of these are not gonna be hurt. And the commander actually is just gonna bounce around, right? He's, well, if he hits walls, hmm. We'll see how much damage he takes. It's gonna be a 2d6, right? And da 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 da. Are these the dice? Yeah. These are the ones we took away. Yeah, let's do these. That's a 10. Hmm. So that means he's going to go whomp and run into those guys. I, I wonder if, if he would just bounce back again. Uh, he's probably going to want to re-roll the 6. So if he keeps hitting walls, he takes more and more damage. That's why. 8. And either way, little uh, Commander Red would have gone. He would have ended up in that space. If he had gone this way and hit the wall, 
would have gone over there. If he went this way and hit the cannon, he would have gone there. I, I think he just he just kind of whizzes by his crewmates. I don't think they they get affected by it. Um, and if if they were to get affected by it, I'd just have them go that way. Um, the ship did have to make a hull check. It was a three or better. It wasn't that hard to get. Uh, just so you know, we are in that territory though. Thirty four. If that roll had hit somewhere else, it would have been a lot more damage, but since it's pretty much a shot right through there, a lot of the damage dissipated, or the, I guess, energy or whatever, dissipated into space. But Buckland Wren got a nice solid sh uh, shot on the bot ship. Their life support's totally gone now. They have uh, two other robots, I believe, are damaged. It's It's been rough on them, very rough on them. Um, but they have they have given back. They have just shot the ship with their own cannon, and now we have to see where it hits. So it's going to be a head-on hit. So we're looking at this axis here. Here's the seven, eight, nine, six, five. Let's see where it goes. And that's an eight. So that's going to go right through here, which is our own life support. Luckily, we still have very high shields. So it's going to be a roll of an eleven. Uh, that's. 11 dice, and we get a drop the highest 7, so that shouldn't be too bad. I guess I'll just go ahead and pick these up. And yeah, there's not going to be any damage there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. By damage, I mean damage modules. 7. So it's just going to be. Um, and no one's even going to get injured because it goes clear all across here. So the ship's going to take seven hull damage. That's the that's the extent of it. Bots do have one of our missiles in their chasing box, and there's another one coming at them. They try to EMP it, but we're unsuccessful. Um, so now we're ending phase three. We're going into phase four, but not yet because we have another electron striking us. We've been getting hit every single phase so far. This is the third phase, third shot from Electron, and here we go, let's take a look, All right. not a bad roll, I don't think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, and let's see where it hits, it's going to hit us from straight on, and that's a five, so five. So it's hitting right in the cargo bay. That's bad because that's where um, Cowbot is there. All right, so is this our pile? Yeah, this is our pile right here. So that means Cowbot is going to be damaged, and so is Chipak. The Chipak of the present, this is the Chipak of the future that jumped back in time. They're both in trouble. Not only are both of these modules um, out of commission, which I'm going to say that means that Cowbot can't control the ship if if the cargo bay is out of commission. Um, but Chipak is now down for the count. He's at zero hit points, out of luck, couldn't re-roll anymore. Cowboy, uh, Cowbot, I'm sorry, is still up and about, but the the equipment that's attached to the ship is now damaged. So need to get some medical help uh, to Chapak. ASAP, because uh, yeah, it could be really bad. I'm going to rule that this chat pack is still around, though, because there is still a possibility for him to be brought back to life, which means he could still um, jump back in time. So this chat pack is still moving. Um, Dr. Zush is here, so if he can make it there and fix him up before before round six or phase six of this turn, it should be okay. Another engine's gone, though, and that's bad. And I think this is where we're going to end it for now. We've just had been shot three times in a row. You have three yes or no questions, so I think it's a it's a good time for me to um, consult the uh, the crew. And also, um, I'm running out of time, so hopefully you guys can puzzle this out. It's uh, phase four of round two. That's the state of uh, the ship right here. I don't, do you know what all these levels are? This level is the helm energy, this is the gun energy, and this is the shield energy. This is the out of control, whoops, and this is um, the speed of the ship. Right, and this is the, the thing I have for the bots. Uh, in terms of the bot ship, it's kind of it's how it was before. 
Um, we are having no trouble taking them on. It's really just the electrons that are beating us. So if we can figure that out, and I know it's difficult. I, I don't think I would be able to figure this out, except that I know what's going on. Um, you know, without the cheat codes, though, this would be tricky. Hopefully you guys can work this out.